Hey everyone, just doing a quick video on Feed the Beast and its standard sort of setup. So there's Feed the Beast, Optifine, and uh, Sonic Ethers shaders, which is pretty much the standard thing most people are using. And it seems a little bit clunky if you haven't done before, but if you've done like mod packs and stuff like that, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But this is just in case anyone's having a little bit of an issue with it. So open up Minecraft, uh, go to installations, and create, uh, I forget what you call it, just an instance of 1.12.2. And when you're in there, you might as well just go down to more options and where it has the argument for uh, XMX 2G, you can set that up, change that to 8G. So we'll use uh, eight gigs of RAM, run the instance. So you'll just play it, exit out, and then don't worry about that. Once Feed the Beast is installed, I'm going to open it up, get FTB Rev, go to Settings, again, go down to Instance Memory and drag that to exactly 8 Gs, uh, 8 gigs. Then what you're going to want to do is click Open Folder for FTB Rev. Then open up your downloads folder or wherever you saved uh, Optifine, uh, which you'll get Optifine from the downloads menu, show all, uh, show all versions, 1.12.2, uh, latest one, Optifine HD Ultra F5, as in like the tornado. Uh, download that. Sonic Ether's website, uh, I forget the full name for it, but just get the renewed version one, 101. Uh, Sonic Ether has spoken on Twitter that he's having uh, an issue with his uh, host for the website. So it's been having issues where you have to like refresh a lot and stuff like that and click the button. It's a little bit of a pain, but if someone needs the file, I can just send it. So once you have these downloaded and you open up the folder in FTB, you go to mods and just drag Optifine into it and bam, Optifine's added to it. The only thing you need to do at, if you're using Optifine is to go all the way down to the T's and look for, um, it's not here because I've already deleted it, but tip the scales. Tip the scales is a mod that allows you to change the UI size out of the normal boundaries in Minecraft. It's really not that useful. Almost, I would say pretty much everybody doesn't use it. I can't think of an instance where you really need it unless you just like having a really small UI or really big UI buttons in Minecraft, but I think the standard one's fine. So again, that's called tip the scales. You need to delete that after you drop uh, Optifine in. And again, we're going to do the same thing with exit back one folder level and then go to shader packs. And that's where you would grab um, your renewed 101 from the downloads folder and just drop it in. You don't need to extract it. Just leave it as it is. Um, and then the only other step to get the shaders to work is technically when you load in. Um, so we'll just do that now, which with the latest launcher update, it's going to be like, oh, you have to switch accounts or blah, 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 blah. It's just going to make, normally it just auto launches. You just click play. It'll, it might give you a warning. That's like, this is a custom install. You know, are you sure you want to use this? And you check that off and it won't do it again. You know, standard, whatever. Um, don't really care for Overwolf, but it doesn't really have an issue here. You'll have the, there'll be a little bar that loads here. You don't need to keep this open though. You can just close out of it and it'll just pull up Minecraft and then there you go. So we'll just skip forward on this. <laughs> And it's finally loaded, and we're all older now, and COVID is gone. Um, you're going to go to Options, and uh, if it's loaded correctly, clicking on Video uh, Settings will bring up this, and you'll have Shaders, and you'll have Optified HD5 Ultra. Um, you'll click into this, it'll be on Off, and then you just, all you do is just click to highlight Renewed 101. Your system's probably going to have a conniption for a second, just don't freak out. Give it a minute. 
if it takes a while, you know, just kind of sit there and then don't touch anything and just click done. You can play with it at first after, but like what I would do is I just click out and then, you know, run a single player instance of the game, just make a test world, run around, see see if you have any issues. The other thing too is uh, let it like fully load. Um, it might be a little choppy at first and uh, just kind of sit around in the same chunk for a little uh, for a little bit then see how it runs and make your adjustments from there but it should be pretty much fine optifine makes a big difference when you're trying to play uh feed the beast uh so yeah that's that's the basic setup there may be a few things again giving that extra ram clearance uh just letting it load and making sure it's in the right folder that's about it so i won't worry about it too much and as always, guys, it's Isocooter, and make sure to follow me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook Gaming, DLive, Patreon, Pornhub, and Farmers Only. <laughs>